Well, now we see the content creator going through building the electronics and he gets to the breakout board. And what did he select? Universal Serial Bus, also known as USB. What is the problem when we select USB? USB, and I've said this in at least, I don't know, I'm, I'm guessing about 50 to 60 videos, is completely unstable for CNC use due to the fact that it runs on 5 volts. That being said, USB, due to the fact that it's running on such low voltage, has a lot of issues with electromagnetic interference. It is probably one of the most unstable platforms you can possibly use for CNC operation, let alone the highest amount of EMI producing CNC robot, which is a plasma system. Once again, covered earlier in the video due to all the amps and power we're consuming, these boards are completely unacceptable for this application. Need more proof? No problem. Here is a direct conversation of dialogue that me, as well as the lead engineer over at CNC Drive, who manufactures UC CNC, and they also manufacture the leading USB controller at one point, which was the UC100. Now, many of you may be familiar with the UC100. Well, lots and lots of people were having issues with it disconnecting mid-job. And when you read this email, you can see exactly what Balzis explained, who's the lead engineer over there. And he went into detail explaining the problems with PC grounding, problems with electromagnetic interference. Then he said there was problems with Windows as far as it going into standby mode. If you want the most stable, up-to-date platform for control for your CNC, there is no better way to go than Ethernet. I suggest you check out my UC400 turnkey solution as it will bring your system up to the highest level of stability possible.